Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing about the module 2 of uh, 18 CS 51. So basically this subject is just like uh, giving us a brief information about um, what is the management theories and all. So this is self explanatory uh, module, we will be just uh, covering some like brief overview of the topics okay, because these topics are not uh, in need of any explanation and um, if you like this video hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel okay. And uh, let us start with the topics, these are very short topics and very easy ones, you can write by your own words also. So I will be just giving you a brief information of uh, what this um, module and the topics are, okay. Firstly we will be looking at the directing and the controlling mechanisms and uh, we will be looking at the nature and meaning of the directing and then leadership styles and motivation theories. Then we have three topics, communication, coordination and controlling, okay. And after that we will be discussing the previous year questions, these are also very straightforward and repeated a lot of times, the same questions are repeated and these are like direct questions from the notes, okay, you will get easily, okay. So yeah, let us uh, start with the module. The first thing is about uh, directing, we all know, uh, we all have a brief idea about what is directing. It is the process and the technique to issue the instructions and making the project get completed on time. So this is about uh, directing and what are the uh, elements involved. So it involves leading, communicating, motivating and supervision, okay. So direction is a dynamic function because ch as changes happen plans, need, uh, plans uh, need to be updated and it initiates action. What is the main purpose of direction? To initiate the action and the work in the project, right, to uh, make some progress and it is a universal, uh, universal function, so all the li uh, leaders and the organizations. Um, have this um, technique which is about the direction and uh, it provides uh, the necessary link between various managerial functions, okay. And uh, it is concerned with the human relationships because it uh, creates a cooperation and the harmony among the, among the members of the group, okay. That was about the directing and coming to leadership. The leadership means the art of influence, okay, means influencing the people to do the work, okay. And the main difference between manager and the leader is that manager is appointed whereas leader is chosen by the people, okay, based on the skills. And some characteristics of leadership, like leadership implies that there are uh, some followers, okay. Means without followers, how can someone be called a leader, okay. When there are followers, that person will be called the leader for that uh, this many people, okay. So that's about the leader, okay. Yeah, that's uh, basically it about the leader. And uh, leader, uh, leadership involves a community of interest between the leader and his followers, okay. So there should be a healthy relationship between the uh, leader, uh, leader and the followers, okay, to get the most uh, productive um, output, okay. And uh, leadership implies leaders can influence their followers or subordinates. And what are the styles of leadership, okay. So these are the three styles, mainly the traits approach. The leader is chosen based on his ability of like uh, mental, mental and physical stability, empathy, motivation and teaching ability and so on, okay. And the second approach is about the behavior, means how the uh, leader will motivate the people, what is his uh, style of authority, how does he do supervision, okay. So motivation can be for the reward or for the penalty, okay, for the failure or achievement. And authority is like autocratic, democratic or free, uh, free reign. And supervision means how he is supervising the uh, people and correcting their mistakes, okay, based on that the leader, uh, the leader is chosen. And contingency means taking feedback from the people and improving um, the himself, okay. And motivation theories, these are the theories which uh, talk about how to improve the people's productivity in the work using motivation, okay. So let us uh, discuss each of them, there are six in total, the first one is uh, Maslow's need hierarchy theory. In this, uh, there is a pyramid here which is uh, in uh, decreasing need of want, okay. The first is the biological needs, okay, these are the very important like hunger and thirst. The next comes the safety needs, then comes social needs like friendship and, and then comes esteem needs which means uh, self-confidence like we are uh, good at something and personal growth, okay. And uh, the key point is that based on the need of the person and his or her situation, they should be motivated, okay. 
the second one is the um, Hertzberg's two factor theory. The first factor means the basic uh, things which are needed to keep, to keep a normal level of satisfaction. That includes um, fair company policies and administration, a supervisor or a good relationship with the employees and the supervisor and a fair salary and uh, a fair salary, job security and personal life. Okay. That is about uh, keeping the normal level of satisfaction. Okay. And the next one is motivating to do more, okay. like a more uh, like something significant. Okay. So that includes opportunity to accomplish uh, something uh, significant, recognition for uh, significant achievements, chance for advancement. Okay. And coming to the third one which is the McLean's uh, achievement theory that uh, has three parts. The need for affiliation means having a social recognition and need for power means if uh, I do a task A, I will be the leader of that group. Okay, I will be assigned as a leader of that group. So that is the second factor. And third is the need for achievement. I will be given a uh, recognition among the people like like for example, the person is uh, good at something. Okay, so that can be considered as an achievement. Okay. And the fourth one is um, Victor's expectancy theory. In this, he believes that there are two levels of outcomes. The first level, which means attaining promotion and all, like um, after some um, achievement. And the second level is the ways to achieve the first level, like uh, attending a trainee program and other bad ways like um, bribing and all, by using that, achieving these things. Okay, These are two levels of motivation. And uh, to measure what is the probability, we have the range from minus 1 to 1. So in that minus 1 means uh, not possible, 0 means 50-50% and 1 means highly possible. Okay. These are called instrument uh, instrumentalities. Okay. And the fifth one is Adam's equity theory. In this, uh, he de uh, describes equity as the ratio between the work done to the reward uh, which we get. Okay. So that should be maintained to keep up the good uh, work which is going on. Right. And uh, what matters is not uh, what the manager thinks. What uh, the manager thinks that uh, does not matter. What the employee perceives uh, regarding his work that matters. Okay. So that was the main point of uh, the theory behind um, the equity theory. So that was the main point uh, made by um, Adam uh, in his equity theory. And uh, moving on we have the Skinner's uh, behavior modification theory. So he focuses more on the reinforcement which is like if I do a task A, I will get some reward and based uh, because of that reward, I will do more um, more of the task A. Okay, That is one thing and if I do some task B which I should not have done, I will be punished for that and uh, due to that punishment, I will avoid doing the, I um, will avoid doing the task B. Okay, That is known as reinforcement. Okay, So basically his theory is about reinforcement. And coming to communication, we'll first uh, discuss about its meaning and read some of its important topics. Okay, so uh, what is communication? It's a process of passing information and understanding from one person to another. Okay, what is its importance? It aids in coordination, helps in convincing others. It's crucial in resolving conflicts. It's effective means to motivate people, and it's a medium of uh, conversation among different people, and it's necessary for the feedback and um, it helps in maintaining good public uh, relations and it improves planning and decision making. Okay. Coming to coordination, it is an ordered way of assisting in some work or project and what are the important features of coordination. If there is, a co if there, if there is coordination, it helps in resolving the conflicts. Also uh, it uh, enhances the teamwork. Also it uh, helps in integration of interdepartmental efforts and optimizes the use of resources. If uh, many people coordinate among each other and do the task, it will be performed in a uh, shorter amount of time and each one will get a wider view of the whole organization. Okay. Coming to controlling, uh, the meaning is that like controlling what does it mean? Measuring and correcting the activities of people. Okay. And keeping a limit which should not be crossed. If crossed, we will take measures to um, will take measures to uh, not cross the limit next time okay, for the resources and all. So that is uh, basically what controlling is and what are the steps in the controlling. Have a uh, suitable uh, measuring standard, then take up the work and see what is your uh, actual performance and compare it with the expected performance and then see if there is any gap and then revise the work 
and then uh, like repeat the steps two to four until the project is completed okay so keep on doing these things which will help in um, keeping a limit on how much resources to use and the time to allot to any task okay and here are some methods of establishing control they are in four domains financial marketing operations and human resource okay in uh, financial domain we can have like um, analysis of how much cost is how much cost we spent with total profit we got okay and this is also the same thing which uh, with uh, different financial terms like um, the ratio of net profit after taxes divided by total assets and uh, total debt by net worth okay and uh, financial audits it helps as a useful um, control me control mechanism during transactions and budgetary control means being aware of how much uh, cost is going uh, to a particular project and how to um, make it more like um, more optimized way okay so that uh, more uh, wastage will not happen okay and uh, the second field is the marketing control which involves sales revenue target so there will be a target to achieve each day and each week each month each year so those targets help in um, keeping up with the uh, progress and uh, brand recall surveys you can take surveys for the uh, brand recall or the customer satisfaction okay and the third one is the operations control means how much uh, tools are being used and all that comes under inventory control and the quality measure can be taken and it can be um, analyzed and project tracking and control okay uh, so that comes under operation control okay and the last one is the human resource control here the employee turnover means how many employees are replaced that uh, statistics is uh, kept and employee performance appraisal means having the frequent conversation with the employee about uh, how much work he has done and what are his next plans and the last one is employee satisfaction surveys okay means based on that uh, we can analyze what are the changes uh, to be made to increase the employee satisfaction okay so yeah this is uh, pretty much about uh, the module 2 so let's uh, see the questions uh, most of them i have discussed like uh, explain the leadership styles i have discussed what is uh, motivation and uh, the or the two factor theory i have discussed and what is coordination uh, define control explain the different methods uh, methods of uh, establishing control see these are the very straightforward questions same questions are repeated okay so make sure you don't miss these questions before um, appearing for exam so yeah that's uh, pretty much it about uh, this module thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one